Hello everyone on the internet and thanks for tuning in. This is Ryukiva from Ryukiva Toku with another Toku unboxing. Today I am doing the SS of Master Rider Decade or Kamen Rider Decade if you will. This is the, um, well it's a renewal but it's the original SS because they did release a Neo Decade but this is Decade Decade from... The original show um, the figure here I mean I really do go into this because I never really feel the need to but this was done in 2016 in yen I did see it go well over 25,000 yen uh, so uh, I did get I did buy this new uh, though the seller goes to me he removed the circular labels because there's no residue of sticker but uh, put seller tape on it but he says to me it's new so I'm gonna check it out in this run box in here looking at the box uh standard ss plastered poster which is all yeah they always do a good job on the front master rider decade sh figure arts master rider decade sh figure arts uh and then the rest apart from sh figure arts and for some I mean i will go into the seller in a minute but yeah apart from saying sh figure arts the rest of the box is actually in japanese Shows like three poses, one with a sword, um, can't remember the name of the sword, and the fact that he has 15 cards, which will be quite fun to see how to pose them. Uh, so, just quickly on to the seller. This is the one figure that I have neither bought from UK or Japan. I've had this imported from Portugal by a seller called Hyper Toys, who runs a shop out there importing from Japan. So I'm being very careful on this unbox, you know, on this seal breaking here. I mean, even though there is absolutely no, I mean, just for the FYI for anyone watching this, uh, SS uh, boxes normally have a circular sticker on both, on both sides to seal. And, you know, normally they're really difficult to remove and... Yeah, like normally, I mean, yeah, like in all my videos, I just cut through them without actually trying to peel them off. But this seller seems to have peeled it off and sold it to me and then telling me it's new. So, uh, with the unboxing, there's a blurb from Tamashii Nations in there. Uh, well, the uh, inlay is on top as per. So, having a look at the inlay, that's five hands on one side and five hands on the other, all identical. Uh, apparently the head is removable. I'm assuming there's only going to be one head with it. Uh, belt has the attachment for like his little data book thing. Uh, sword goes in hand. Uh, apparently the sword is the one that folds down. Uh, apparently uh, the little booklet thing is actually openable and the belt can swivel around and apparently the shoulder pads can come off. Same on other side. That's I'll do not <laughs> do not misplace the decade driver, and apparently you can put the cards in, which will be fun to check out. So getting on, looking at the figure first. Right, well he's a fat guy. I'm not going to lie to you, and at least the I mean looking at it, it's quite basic in design. I don't remember him looking this basic. Um, but apparently he, I mean, he looks, I mean, the black is quite overwhelming, the magenta or magenta, um, quite subtle and actually the white stands out for me a lot more. Detailing on the helmet looks pretty good. Um, let's see, the, looks pretty solid as a figure. I mean, again, those detachable shoulder pads, which I absolutely detest, but if it's there, it's there. Those elbows are really locked in hard. Um, let's see detailing on the chest plate uh, again it just feels so it just seems so basic on top I am literally gonna go in a bit to look at how he looks in the show but yeah just removing that plastic from his belt there I mean nope to be fair to the seller he sold me a solid figure here but I'm not too sure about this because again it's supposed to I mean according to the inlay this is yeah you know, like as per the show this is supposed to be able to swivel round. No, it just completely detaches. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Let me have a quick look at that inlay again. Right, so apparently this come right, so I don't know if I can show that properly, but apparently even the sides come out on it. Right, just I mean I'll remove it again. 
Now, I don't know what it's trying to imply here. Maybe it's a second belt. I'll have to have a look inside. I'll have to look at the rest of the parts. But, yeah, that bit comes off. And, yeah, there's clearly slots in this to uh, put the cards in. So that's the actual driver itself detaches. Da, 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 da. I mean, the abs on this guy. Wow, look at that. Anyway, but no, he's, I mean, I'll say he's quite, he's a little bit fatter, but uh, actually quite a solid figure. And just before I go into the rest of the contents, is that, you know, even holding it is well-balanced figure. Highly detailed. I mean, you know, he's literally striped all over. There's not really much I could say. I mean, that is a big neck, to be fair. And he's quite a big guy. All right, so just a random pose. I mean, those feet are chunky. Um, and, yeah, those these are probably the chunkiest feet I've ever seen. Um, right, yeah, I mean, bends at the ankles and toes pretty well. Random pose. <laughs> See a pen gal, then a pose. Anyway, so let's have a look. See, right, so he does have a second helmet. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else in the box, but this is the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, all right, so he does have two drivers, because that was really confusing me. So that's the driver when he's, like, pulled it apart, and the, you know, the main part of the driver's on its side. I mean, just having a look at the actual driver piece... I mean, you could just about, I mean, if I really look at it, they've really gone into detail with the, I think it's either 9 or 10 symbols of the previous riders. I mean, nine, I mean it would be 10 including decade. I'm going to count quickly. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, yeah, it would be 10, 10 logos around the actual driver. And look at, I mean, right, so the cards, I can see here. I mean, they've literally just given you a sticker sheet here. I mean, I might pop one out. Uh, so let's just have a look at the weapons real quick. Uh, so this is a sword on its own. I mean, yeah, we've got the Decade logo on there. That's about it. And yeah, they've actually got the bit where you can actually... I don't know why you'd want to attach the, it fully folded out and then attach it to the belt like that. I mean, that is a possible thing you can do. Why Decade would do that, I don't know. And yeah, that looks really weird with that shoulder pad. And yeah, at least I will actually give it a little bit some props. Like even though it's a double jointed shoulder, it doesn't look as weird as a lot of the other figures do. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, s there is two helmets, but I'm going to quickly see if I can tell the difference because I really can't tell the difference. I actually cannot. Right. Well, that's two helmets there, if you can see them. Right, so looking at the rest, so this is the this is the gun form, sword form. I'm talking in Deno talk now, but then I believe this one should be able to fold out according to the instructions, according to the inlay. Yeah, yes, it does. But the thing is, you won't be. Able, but that is solid in there. I mean, yeah, it's a nice thing to have, and I guess you can do a few poses, but you're not going to be able to put the cards in there. Right, so the open driver, I mean, not really much else to say, but I don't really remember that whole belt being detachable. I don't know how I'm supposed to detach it. Oh, it slides sideways, right. It's supposed to slide sideways, but it doesn't seem that it can. Oh, no, you... God, you really have to prise it off, so if you're going to break it, break it. But no, you won't break it, I don't think. It's just that there's two clips on the side of the belt. So that's me putting the open version on there. It looks weird without a head. I'm going to put the original one back. Actually, I'll use the second head here. I'm, that really bugs me why I can't tell. Right, I can tell there's a slight difference. The helmet on this one has flared sides. This one has flat on the sides. I don't really, I mean, I don't know if that was like a movie thing or what. And again, it does explain it in Japanese, but I can't read kanji. Damn it. Maybe one day in like a hundred years. Right. So the hands, um, go do a random, so just to quickly pop one hand off. Wow, that was tough. Um, yeah, so this is a, so he has the closed fists. He has 
a hand that you can hold a card in. He has, I don't know, oh, that's clo that's class, that's two sets of, two pairs of hands that you can hold weapons with. And then one with uh, sprayed out, fin splayed out fingers. Right, so just so you can see what I'm doing here. Right, it doesn't want me to put this hand on. It's making it really difficult. I mean, the hand's pretty solid. I mean, again, I tend to prefer it when the hands are a little soft. Right, that has just clipped on you. I'm sure you must have heard that. So, but I am going to put a different hand on this hand. I'm going to have one with the... Again, this is very unique to uh, Decade. The hand that he'll be able to hold a card in. Right, that those hands are really hard to pop in. Again, I'm I've I've put this random head on. Um, just to do one more pose while I play around with the cards. Uh, this is how it's supposed to look when he's about to put a card in. So this is what it would be. Um, maybe of a. This is quite a tight one as well. So. I mean, he's quite a bulky figure as well. So, like, maybe he's gonna, like, casually look like he's about to put a card in, or who has a card in, he just doesn't have a card in there yet. Right, so, looking at the card sheet. Right, so basically this is all poppy outy. So there's no way you could sell this second hand without saying, I popped the cards out. So I've popped one card out, but can you actually put it back in? Right, so what card do I... I've popped out the Decade card, even though he's already henchened into Decade. Right, those cards are really, really fiddly, and three of them, even though I've got the full sheet, two of them just fell out on their own. Right. So... I mean, again, you would need like a super duper HDR camera or something to pick up the fact that you've even got a card in there. And it's really flimsy plastic, these cards. And that card's gone all the way in. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that card back out now. Um, right, so yeah, you can get the cards out by really flicking the bottom. But that is really fiddly. Right. So I am going to try and end this video as quickly as possible from here. But that card is solidly in there. Right, yeah, you really have to flick it and then it'll come out. So it's a little, so it's not tight. But then, uh, right, so I'm going to... That is really, I mean, like you see him holding it perfectly in like the show and stuff. So yeah, that would be him saying, here, have a card. And I'm balancing the sword on the back of my neck for no reason. I mean, I probably could do a few more better poses, but it's a really stiff figure. And the guy has clearly sold it to me new. So thank you very much, Hyper Toys Portugal, for doing this for me at a good price. And, yeah. that I mean, let me just have a quick look at the back of the box. Right, that's how he holds it, right? So just to be a bit more show correct... Hey, buy my stuff. This is a card. Right. And that's my review of the Decade figure, SS. And it's an absolute must-buy if you can get hold of it. And it's totally worth it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please follow, like, and subscribe to this channel. Support me on Patreon as well as on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Ryukivotoku. My blog and fan sub page is at ryukivotoku.wordpress.com. Links are in the description. SH figure arts are not for children, suitable for ages 14 plus. See you next time.